I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are some tips to help get through the lunch line faster. Please bring your lunch card and have it ready when you get, are at the front of the line. Your student ID also works. You may even take a picture of your barcode and have it on your phone. The more prepared you are, the faster the line can move. Good, Good morning, morning SHS. SHS. Attention all baseball players. There will be a virtual meeting for all potential baseball players and their parents about the upcoming offseason and season this Wednesday, October 21st at 7 p.m. on Google Meet. If you have not already done so, please send Coach Sasurchi your email and your parents' email for the meeting invite. We will talk about what lifting and conditioning program might look like during the pandemic, our practice and game schedule, fundraising opportunities, the need to be flexible, and more. The meeting will also be recorded. Once again, there's a Strongsville baseball meeting this Wednesday at 7 p.m. on a Google Meet. Art students, National Art Honor Society will be continuing this school year in virtually held meetings. Initial meeting information will be sent to member school emails. Prospective new members may find applications on the SHS NAHS activity webpage in, and in room 700. Stay tuned. Sometime during the week of October 19th, Mr. Jenkins will release information regarding a theatrical opportunity for Strongsville High School students. Tis the season for ghostly expiration. Study tables will be after school on Mondays and Thursdays in the Media Center. They will be held from 2.30 till 3.30. Attention juniors and seniors. The following colleges will be holding virtual meetings next week. On Monday, the Matrix Trade Institute virtual visit will be fourth period, and the University of Finley will be eighth period. On Tuesday, Tri-C has a virtual visit fifth period, the University of Chicago sixth period, and Purdue University eighth period. On Wednesday, Butler University has a virtual visit seventh period, and the University of Michigan is eighth period. On Thursday, the University of Cincinnati will be second period, the University of Kentucky is third period, and the University of Rochester is sixth period. You must sign up through Naviance and see Mrs. Slaney and guidance for a pass. The virtual visits will be held in the guidance department. Have a, Have a great, great Mustang, Mustang Day. Good morning. Today for our social emotional learning lesson, we are going to look at support systems to reflect on our emotions individually or with peers or trusted adults. What you can do, use the acronym PATH. Step one, pause. This step is important because instead of acting on feelings right away, you stop yourself and think things through. Count to 100 or say the alphabet backwards. Step two, acknowledge what you are feeling. For example, are you mad at someone or are you sad because your feelings were hurt by what they did? Whatever it is that you are feeling, it is okay to feel that way. Step three, think. Now that you have taken a few moments to figure out what exactly it is that you are feeling, think about how you can make yourself feel better. Step four, help. Take an action to help yourself based upon what you came up with in the think step. Never be afraid or embarrassed to ask for help. So remember, path, pause, acknowledge, think, and help. Problem solving. Make a list of solutions to problems. It can help to brainstorm with a friend or family member. Make a list of your strengths. There are plenty of things about you that are awesome, no matter how down you are feeling at the moment. If a person has upset you, talk with them directly. Fill in the blanks to this sentence. I feel blank when, because, blank. Next time, could you please, blank. For example, I feel left out when there is no room at the lunch table because then I don't have friends to talk to. Next time, can you please save me a seat? Relaxation techniques. Practice belly breathing. Put one hand on your stomach and start to inhale slowly. As you breathe in, imagine a balloon in your stomach filling up and continue to inhale until the balloon is very full. Try progressive muscle relaxation. Clench your toes for a count of five, then relax them for a count of five. Then move on to your calves, thighs, abs, arms, and neck. Play with Play-Doh. 
go for a walk, find a guided meditation on YouTube, do yoga, read a book, listen to music, a podcast, or an audiobook, unplug, turn off your phone, tablet, and computer for an hour or so, ask for help, text a friend, ask someone to just sit with you, call a family member, Talk to an adult you trust. Call a friend you haven't talked to recently. And if you are really in crisis, here's a number you can call. 1-800-273-TALK. Or you can text MHA to 741-741. Again, never be afraid or embarrassed to ask for help. Everyone needs help sometimes. Have a great day, everyone.